Good morning, Jan Borg. Good morning, <laughs> Sister Peg. And uh, thank you for coming to share your story. This is, uh, you are part of the Adrian Dominican history, so it's really important to us and to our Adrian Dominican sisters, the rest of the co-workers and our benefactors that uh, they know a little bit more about our co-workers and how you are engaged in the mission here on the campus of the Adrian Dominican sisters. So to begin with, tell us what were your offices and what you do at this time. I work at the Office of Information. Um, I do a lot of different things, right. but mostly deal with the funerals and the deaths of sisters and associates. So, um, the cemetery, that kind of thing, obituaries, mm -hmm. all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, um, we're keeping you busy these days. <laughs> yes, sadly, yes, yes you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's been a busy couple of weeks, that's for sure. So you write up the obituaries mm -hmm. <coughs> from information uh, on the sisters' records, etc.? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and it's basic information. It's their ministries and their family information, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But the Office of Information in general there's a wide variety. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, we also cover, I mean, the office in general has archives and the history department and the data department and the library. And, and the library. Is, yeah, is, which is now closed. Is now closing. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Office of Information, that the, the department itself covers all of those areas. Archives is a little bit more separate now. Mm -hmm. um, but there's, we still have interaction with them a lot. So Now, you haven't always worked in the Office of Information. No, I was in what? environmental before. Now, you were environmental. And is that where you started? Yes. yes. To go back to how did you get here on campus? How did I get I here I mean, how did campus? you know about the position that was open? I was looking for a full-time position. I had been teaching preschool and had done that for 13 years and was oh. looking for a full-time position. And they could have offered me full-time, but they couldn't offer me benefits. And I was getting too old to not have insurance. And somebody said, hey, the sisters are hiring. And I went, well, what do I know about that? <laughs> about them? And I came and applied and got hired. Are you from Adrian? I am not, I am from Illinois. Okay. But I have been here for 22 years. Living here in Adrian? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you know about this campus and the campus of the Adrian Dominican Sisters? Not Institute? really. Mm -hmm. I knew of Siena. Okay, yeah, of course. But I, <laughs> but I did not know... What that building was next to them. Well, I, I knew you were here. Okay. I didn't know anything about you. Okay. So... So you saw the position and so you applied? I applied and I got hired been here ever since. And how long did you work in environmental services? Five years. And where did you work mostly? I worked everywhere. I started at Maria. I started on 2 South and I was there for two years. And then I went to uh, Madden and I was there. And then I went to Weber, which okay. is where I met you. Right. <laughs> right. A delight. In fact, you were. Uh, you are. Um, so do they try to get someone in environmental that you work in different places on campus because you cover a wide range of She services. tries to, or at least used to, I can't say that she still does, but I think so. She tries to get everybody kind of cross-trained so that, yeah. you know, if I fall ill and I'm gone, somebody mm -hmm. can pop in and, and do it because mm -hmm. it used to be that the same couple of people did Weber. Well, then if something happened, somebody went over there and nobody knew how things right. worked. Right. right. So, and each building is different. It has its own thing, own entity. So, so you know every nook and cranny on this campus. Most kind of. of it. I uh -huh. know a lot of it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. a lot. I don't get lost on campus anymore. <laughs> Except when you're directed to the wrong direction. Um, so anyway, that's a lot of hard work. 
I yes, know just it observing is. what you all did at, yes. uh, at Weber. And Environmental then, is a tough it's job. It's a very demanding yeah. physically. Yes, physically mm -hmm. position. It is. Mm -hmm. it is. And that you had a full time position with this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what happened? This position came available and I applied for it and got hired. <laughs> um, total polar opposite of what exactly. I was doing before. <laughs> All you did was run around for how many years were you in environmental? Five years. Okay, so you run around for five years. Yeah, almost five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I sit at a desk and I still do a lot of running. Yes, you do. I see but you're they're in the shorter hall all distances. The time. <laughs> Uh -huh. Shorter distances, yeah. and not as not as much physical lifting, flipping, turning, pushing, pulling. Yeah. So it it is totally different. No and, more jeans to work except on Fridays. And, and if there's no funeral, and then um, no weekend work. That's true. Mm -hmm. No weekend work. No holidays. That's right. So there yeah. are benefits, aren't there? Yes, there is. That it is a polar opposite. It, mm -hmm. it truly is. Mm -hmm. um, can't say one's better than the other. What do you I mean, like? there are benefits to both. Um, I never had to worry about what I ate when I was <laughs> environmental, and we know I eat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I never had to worry about it. Never had to think about it. Because you just were I was physically busy. active eight yeah. hours a day, so I didn't have to uh -huh. worry about it. Mm -hmm. Now I have to think a little harder. <laughs> so what is it that you like best about working on this campus? No doubt the sisters. Yeah, that's yeah. the answer we use it. Yeah, yeah, there's there's no yeah. doubt. The yeah. the joy and the love and the the caring that they uh -huh. exude. I mean and they and they do. I don't even think they try. It's just who they are. Who well, you all and, are. And you generate that yourself because you're the exact you could be a sister. <laughs> <laughs> you do I've exactly. often thought that now. <laughs> I'm sure you get that, Sister Jan, every once in a while. <laughs> I do on the phone a lot. All right, so you came to campus, the Adrian Dominican mm -hmm. campus, because you needed a position. Mm -hmm. But where do you live? Do you live here in Adrian? I do. I live out by Madison School, mm -hmm. um, and I've been there for 14 years okay. in that house. Okay. Before that, I lived in the historic district. So, No, the historic district. On Dennis Street. Oh. We're all in all the historic houses, the big, On Dennis Street. The big okay. huge houses. Yeah. Okay. Now, I met your mom. Your mom works at Lowe's still. Yes. Right. And my yeah. daughter still does. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you met my daughter as well. That's right, at Lowe's. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, anything else that you want to... Um, what aspect of your life has been the most rewarding? Oh, my kids by far. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. How many kids do you have? I have two. I have a son who lives in Tennessee with his wife and two children. Two children, they're adults. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he has two children that are 22 and 20. His youngest is 20. Wow. And then my daughter who's 24. <laughs> she goes right between them. <laughs> Um, so she became an aunt at the age of two. Oh my word, yes, that's yes. not yes. unheard of. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, she informed them in the hospital when they said, well, what do you think of your baby cousin? And she says, my that head. my nephew. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Uh -huh. So um, where do you like to go on vacation or what's a great hobby of yours? I pretty much only go to my camper. Right, right. Uh, very seldom go anywhere else anymore. It is my peaceful space. Um, and hobbies, oh Lord, I love to tear apart furniture or tear apart you things do. and build what I need out of them. I yes. didn't know that about you, okay. Yes, I built all my co daughter's college dorm furniture. You did? Yes, with help. I mean, it wasn't myself. Yeah. It was uh -huh. a, me and a couple friends that you know, this uh -huh. is what I need to fit here, and between the three of us, we figure out how to get it done. So you take furniture and then take it apart? Repurpose. It? Repurpose it, okay. That's Not wonderful. Not just furniture, anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like your life. Yes, yes. Just like your new job here in the Office yes. of Information. You have to repurpose mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't just throw it away. <laughs> What's the most exciting thing you've done in your life? 
Oh my. I don't know. Probably giving birth. Yeah, I'm sure. Talk about an absolute miracle. Mm -hmm. You know, just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that has to be. That has mm -hmm. to be it. I mean, I've done. Anything else about yourself that you'd like to tell us that maybe those of us that know you somewhat would be so surprised? Well, I think the whole repurposing furniture surprised <laughs> me, but would be. Uh, would surprise us about you? Probably that's it, the repurposing. Yeah. The, uh, I, I tend to figure out how to get it done if I need it done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I can remember first being divorced thinking, who's going to do these things now? Well, guess what? You Hello. figure it out. You yes, figure it out. Yes, that's right, you can. Google is my friend. <laughs> uh -huh. Very good, you're very resourceful. It's probably why you're in the Office of Information. Have you ever been asked a question there and they just think you should know everything because yes. it's the Office of Information? Yes, yes. You yes. should know everything about campus, about yes. the congregation, about... And like I said, Google is my friend up there as well sometimes. Um, so you can find stuff about us on Google. Well, some of the th yeah. things that I get asked about, um, like a lot of the things about the sisters I have at my fingertips, right. I, can, I can find that information, though we don't give out a whole lot of no. information without permission. Mm -hmm. um, it's the, the things like, because so many of the schools are closed, right. I don't always know when they're asking about schools and who was where. I don't always know that information. So some of that is a little trickier. But have you read any of our books, our history that I made have, you have? Well, that's I have. good. Um, I don't always have the time to no. spend a whole lot of time, so I'm still on book one. That's good. But I am, I, I, uh -huh. yeah, I have those and I have read almost like uh -huh. the, there's a history brief history mm -hmm. where it's just the date mm -hmm. and what happened during that time. Mm -hmm. And I've gone through that, and a lot of interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. so interesting. It's amazing what has been created and how. And I don't think most people really understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and I and I in my own mind sit back and think, what women were thought of at that time. Sometimes still are. <laughs> yes, but especially in right. those times, you right. know, in the beginnings, right. in your beginnings right. here what women were thought of, and yet what you all created. That you said it. It's unbelievable what was created with some of our women who we yes. keep saying we're standing on their shoulders. Yeah. It's just uh, the, the amount of faith uh -huh. that some of those women had to have had to take the leaps and the risks that they did, mm -hmm. and, and it, it obviously mm -hmm. paid off doing it. But. Mm -hmm. um, it's fascinating to me and, and extremely amazing, but I find that that's the charism. Yeah. Period. You mm -hmm. figure it out. <laughs> you know. Just like you have. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Every woman has done that. Um, and I and I and I think that was the probably the most shocking thing to me is you know everybody thinks nuns and you know they teach school and da da da, da what you all have done but it's amazing to me what you've done mm -hmm. and sitting here talking to you it's also amazing what you've done since you have some Thank significant you. changes in your life and i think of you as a hospitality queen i know you were so <laughs> gracious that which is so important over at weber you were just so gracious to everyone and kind and everything else and you had people around you all the time now you're up in that little <laughs> office and i'm sure that's hard uh, I mean, not to be engaged that much. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're walking down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Coming we, to visit and, you. <laughs> and we, we, we meet each other in the hallways. But um, anyway, you certainly are uh, a delight. I mean that you are just Miss Hospitality. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your service. And we don't just place anyone in the Office of Information. Thank it's you. a big responsibility in the whole area of confidentiality. Yeah. is so significant. So. Um, you are a blessing to us, and we absolutely trust you with our treasures. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you.